Welcome to the Autofocus Q&A, where we invite leaders, top executives, and personalities from the automotive sector to answer questions about the automobile and its industry from our invited motoring journalists and those sent to us by our viewers. This week from the motoring media, we have the motoring editor of the Manila Times and contributing writer of Top Gear Philippines, Mr. Brian Apuang. Welcome once again to our show, Brian. Thank you, Butch. Thank you for having me. My privilege. He's joined by the editor-in-chief of jamesdeacon.ph and columnist and contributing writer of the Philippine Star, the Mr. James Deacon. James, Thank for you. the first time, welcome. Thank you very much. Pleasure. And as for our esteemed guest this week on the Autofocus Q&A, we have the president of the Association of Vehicle Importers and Distributors, or AVID, and also the president and CEO of Hyundai Asia Resources Incorporated, or Harry Ms. Fe Perez Agudo. Fe, welcome to the program. Yeah. Hi, Butch. Hi, Brian. Hi, James. <laughs> okay, as tradition dictates, let me first throw in the first uh, question. You see, after having interviewed quite a slew of uh, the top executives of the local automotive industry, I was faulted by one of our viewers by saying that I'm out of character in these interviews because I do not I do not dwell on the person, the persona behind these these top names. You know, if you don't mind, Faye, you'll be the first one in line. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe you can give us an idea of uh, where you were before you entered into the, the very, uh, uh, shall we say, junglish atmosphere of the automotive industry, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, how long have you been here? Well, I started actually in real estate. I've been there for over 17 years, no, by chance. And I went to motoring by accident, so I've been, and I've been in I've been in the automotive industry for 13 years already, and that's where I am right now. So that's a fresh 17 to 13, 30 years of solid experience. You must have started at 15. Yeah, actually, yes, you're right. Child, child labor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are one of the very few top honchos of the auto industry. How, how does a lady feel in? Uh, in a world which is supposed to be, but I don't agree to, dominated mm. by men. It's the same feeling, butch, no? And belief, I don't believe also that there is a gender issue in the automotive industry. And you don't even need a title to be so-called a very good leader in the industry because it's really all about passion, conviction, and uh, hard work that really matters. Uh, that for me should differentiate men and women. Aside from heading uh, Hyundai Asia Resources, Fe is also the president of Avid, and I think Brian has a slew of questions about uh, Avid. Well, let's just start yung the recent um, mm -hmm. thought leadership forum of Avid that mm -hmm. uh, is fourth year, I think. Um, yes. What 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 are uh, you developing? We there? just held our fourth uh, uh, thought leadership forum. As you very well know, Avid has been very focused on our core mission values. And first is on advocacy, on uh, leadership forum. Second will be on communications advocacy. Third is on strategic partnership. And last is on knowledge capital building. So putting it together, we felt that there are pressing issues of the industries that has to be communicated to the members, to the stakeholders, and to uh, the academic business and uh, private sector no, that really affects not only the automotive industry and the, the overall economy as a whole. That's the reason why while coming from a competition policy forum to a competitiveness policy forum, we now focus in on the ASEAN Economic Community Integration or the so-called AEC, which we all know is really inevitable. It's bound to happen by 2015, which simply means to say that the regional that the region, which of course the ASEAN, mm -hmm. is now opening itself to a 600 million diverse population or the so-called market. No? Mm -hmm. And the reason why we're, we have uh, chosen the topic is to tell to the community no, at large that, hey, this is our chance to become globally competitive and we must really prepare for it and at the same time take advantage of the opportunities and benefits that the uh, AEC presents. No? How does this affect um, Hyundai? Because uh, Hyundai, obviously, they bring mm -hmm. Korean cars mm -hmm. and stuff, and you don't enjoy the same tariffs right now. There has been a drop, mm -hmm. you mentioned, in 2012. But yep. 
Does this put you at a disadvantage? No. As a matter of fact, we're taking advantage of the ASEAN Economic Community Integration. Korea has the so-called AKFTA or the ASEAN Korea Free Trade Agreement. Mm -hmm. We have. This was signed in April of 2012. Of course, it was done in uh, re uh, in series in tranches, no. So from a 30 percent to 20 percent drop in tariffs. Uh, by 2016, everything drops to 5 percent. We can still negotiate for a 0 percent, but we'd like to take it slowly and believe that the 5 percent will be very, very doable by 2016. So that's where the Korea is taking advantage of the whole ASEAN because now he can interrelate using that kind of uh, uh, tariff, now that the t t tariff buyers has been removed also. Having said that, you see the Philippines has been one of the cellar dwellers mm -hmm. as far as the ASEAN region is concerned uh, when it comes to the automotive industry. Uh, it was only last year when mm -hmm. we registered some significant growth mm -hmm. in our sales, you know, in our total sales, industry mm -hmm. sales. And I think this year, at this point in time, your date, you're about 20% uh, higher, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Yes. My question is, with this new found uh, haven for us, mm -hmm. uh, or situation for us having increased sales, as we look into the ASEAN integration, when you're talking of a larger market, mm -hmm. is the Philippine auto industry prepared? Is it ready to face such a big market? I would say, yes, the Philippine industry, the automotive industry is ready. You have to, I'd like to s focus on s certain points why I believe that we are very much ready for that. One, if you look at the, the number of brands coming in, into the country, you know, that would also show uh, they could see f a future, a, a great potential in our market. Mm -hmm. Number two is if you study our GDP or our uh, the per capita income, I mean, of a Filipino, uh, comparing it in 1967 to 1996 and now in 2014, our per capita income then in 1967 was just eight. Uh, that was about 600 U.S. dollars, and that was the time that uh, there was protectionism in the automotive industry because we were we were highly regulated by uh, got by tariffs by regulations. But if you look at from 1967, it took us 30 years to, de to liberalize the time of uh, Fidel, uh, former President Fidel Ramos when he opened the country to liberalization. Then the per capita income improved from a 600 level to 1,300. And if you could, will not forget, in 1996, that was the highest peak of our sales. Mm -hmm. That is that what liberalization is all about. Mm. That's what is trade democracy is all about. And if you look forward in 2014 and 2015 of this AEC, you can again imagine a more original global, original liberalization will happen. And boom, you're not only open to a local market, but you really are open to this big, big market where there will be free flow of trades and goods. Still speaking about, about this uh, improved improvement in the auto industry, tell us, was this policy of uh, banning the importation of used vehicles a big help or a, a big contributing factor in this increase in sales? If anybody here knows, what is really the percentage of the used imported vehicles in the country? It's just a dent, actually. So I do not like to attribute that the industry suddenly grew because yes. we <laughs> eradicated the used yes. uh, vehicles. I don't believe that. I believe that the auto industry grow because it's really sh it, it, it really deserves the growth it, it is experiencing right now because as I've said the fundamentals are correct we have the purchasing power and we have not really recovered from the 1997 crisis every time you want to recover another incident happens every time we're going up unlike in the rest of the same countries which includes Malaysia Thailand I was so jealous of them in 1997 <laughs> After five years, their, um, their volumes have gone double in five years. Where are we, right? So that's <coughs> why, as I've said, we still have a very strong potential. Of course, not, um, we should not ignore Vietnam, and, mm -hmm. they're, right? They're, 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 they're the very, very aggressive also. Okay. Uh, we shall continue this very interesting discussion. We will first take a very short break, and we shall come back with the week's Q&A. Stay with us.